Pow. Welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is Dan W. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Today, our Marvel Legends reviews continue with this builder figure Hulk Wave from the Thor Ragnarok film. Obviously, the film doesn't come out until October, but we got these figures now. Obviously, in front of me, we have probably my most anticipated figure of the wave, Marvel's Hela played by Kate Blanchett in the film. And as you can see, we get an alternative head. I was so happy to see that when they revealed it, along with the comic style inspired head crown, antlers, crazy thing uh, from Jack Kirby's brain. Um, it looks really good. I think even though this is a movie figure, I do think it's a figure that comic collectors probably are gonna pick up as well because she will fit in seamlessly. Uh, it's a great design. Can't wait to open this figure. Let's have a look at the box and then we'll open her up. So on the side of the box, we get Kate Blanchett. Uh, probably, this is probably some art from the film. We get a little write up on the back. And then as always, we get a list of all the figures. In this wave, we need to complete the Hulk Builder figure. Today we're reviewing Hela. More side art. And then yeah, here she is in the box. As I said, interchangeable head, a weapon, some pieces for the Hulk Builder figure. Without further ado, let's open her up and see her in all her glory. Pow, here she is out of the box in all of her glory. And wow, very impressive figure. First impressions is really, really like it. Don't know if you could tell or not. Um, what I will say is when you're taking this one out of the box, be very careful. She's packaged in a way that her head sort of crown is displayed properly and it is protected well, but the back pieces pop out of the head and I thought I'd broke it and had a mini heart attack, but it's just that Hasbro has packaged it, packaged it really well. Uh, so just be very careful when you're taking it out of the box because uh, the cape's in a different section, etc. But yeah, look at that. She looks great. In regards to accessories, she comes with this weapon, obviously, interchangeable head, which I will get into in a minute, but she also comes with two pieces for the builder figure, Hulk, the gladiator Hulk, giant sort of ax sort of thing, and then obviously an arm. Stay tuned to this channel, subscribe, as I will be reviewing the gladiator Hulk once I've reviewed the rest of the figures in this wave. So subscribe, come back, I'll be reviewing that guy. But in the meantime, let's talk about this beauty. Um, and yeah, wow. Um, I know I said a lot of people are really snobby about not collecting movie figures because they think they're a better, better Marvel fan because they only collect the original comic characters. I think that's just ridiculous. The movies we're getting at the minute are great and the character designs are great. And this is obviously massively inspired by the comics, but they've put a nice modern twist on it. And yeah, she's looking very impressive, even down to like painting the fingernails black. Just little details like that go a long way. Head crown is impressive. I like the sword. Obviously a unique sculpt for the sword. It must be in the film. Uh, but yeah, her costume's great as well. Her cape obviously comes off. There's a peg at the back. Really simple. So you can have a with or without the cape. Um, but yeah, that head is impressive. I will quickly do a head swap and then zoom in and show you in more detail this figure. So the head swap, as I said, be careful because you don't want to break this figure. But here we go. So this is Kate Blanchett's head. And as I get, again, Marvel are saying they're using this new technology to make the head scans more accurate to the actors. So again, I will zoom in and do a couple of head swaps and uh, focus in on the character. But yeah, she's looking menacing. Really, really good. So far, looking like one of my favorite female figures. Just saying. So here's a closer look of the head sculpt of Kate Blanchett playing Hela. My lights are probably a little bit too bright so that it's shining off the face and uh, making it look a bit too shiny. But it is very, very good. Very accurate to what we have seen in the trailers so far. And I just really like, like the cloudy eyes. It's just soft lipstick. It's just it's a good looking figure as in as it's very accurate to what it's meant to be. Um, but yeah, while she's here zoomed in, the outfit as well, it's brand new sculpt in all the way, all these lines meet up, metallic sort of um, green. As I said, I very much like the color palette of this film, just in general. Um, but yeah, the cape's more flexible, um, so it's not one of those st stiff capes, but it's, again, I'd still prefer to see Hasbro doing cloth capes. 
but I like that the hair is sculpted in a way so it's like the wind's blowing on her and it's not just straight. Um, but yeah, really impressive, really impressive. The cape, got a nice little sculpt at the top. The peg's probably a little bit higher than on you normal capes. And then uh, it sort of hugs, whoops, you can't see now. It sort of hugs around her shoulders. If it will focus. Can you see that, how it hugs around the shoulders there? But yeah, really impressive face sculpt. Let's uh, swap the heads real quick. Again, it just happened to me again. So you see, this is a perfect example to show you. So you can see that part of her crown is missing. This is what happened to me straight out of the box. This come off and I thought I'd broke it and had a mini heart attack, but it does clip in the back. So I think they were made in a way where they can pop in and out. Um, get it the right way, of course. And hopefully we'll hear it click. Yeah, I heard it click. I don't know if you did, but uh, yeah. Very impressive, very accurate to both comic and form what we've seen in the film. Like I'm zoomed in that close and you can't even see it all. I have to lean her back a little bit. But yeah, very impressive sort of crown, antler inspired crown. Um, but yeah, this figure is looking good. Now there's rumours she may be playing Death uh, or Lady Death as in the, the person that Thanos loves and lusts after um, in Infinity War. Um, don't know how true that is yet, but I thought it would be nice to see what these two look like. Hopefully we get an MCU version Thanos builder figure, maybe in the future. I'm not too sure if uh, they teased us with that at San Diego Comic-Con, or we're just gonna get a reissue of this guy with the uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Hopefully it's an MCU version with the Josh Brolin style Thanos. But nevertheless, these two still look good posed together. And uh, I just like showing off my uh, Thanos um, throne from I think his Guardians of the Galaxy appearance. It's inspired. It's not completely accurate. I, it's sort of I took inspiration from that film and then I uh, made this throne for my displays. And I will be doing this display video soon as well, people. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. But yeah, these two look great together. So here's Hela compared to Polaris and also Enchantress. I'm probably still saying her name wrong, but I wonder why I compared these three figures together. Hmm. Maybe it's because they like the colour green. Even still, it's a good comparison because it shows you the height difference. Hela does stand a lot taller than your average female comic version figure. But she is an MCU figure, so let's compare her to some female MCU characters and swap that head. So this is a good example of how tall Hela is for a female character. I'm not sure if she is going to be portrayed this tall in the film. Uh, I don't know. But here she is compared to obviously Nebula, Mantis and Gamora. These two could have joined her girl, green girl band a minute ago. Uh, but yeah, these are all on this new technology where they're making the head sculpts more accurate. And they do all look great together, to be fair. I just wish she wasn't so tall, but I'm guessing it must be how she is portrayed in the film. I guess we'll find out when Thor Ragnarok is released. And lastly, here she is compared to the only other two figures I've reviewed in this wave, as in Lady Thor and then MCU Thor Ragnarok 4. And um, as you can see, Thor does stand taller, only by a little bit, a little bit. Um, so these two look a lot better together than she did compared to other figures. Um, but yeah, these two are looking so good. She could be possibly be my favorite female Marvel legend. It's early days, people. It's early days. Um, but yeah. So final thoughts. Yeah, this figure is great. As I've kept gushing about it throughout this review, could possibly one of my, be my one of my favorite female Marvel legends. Uh, so happy they gave us both heads, this comic style and movie accurate head, and then also the Kate Blanchett head. I can't wait to see her portrayal of Hela in the film. Loved the character design. Even the sword got tiny, tiny sculpting on. Um, not too sure if that sword's got a specific name or it's in the comics, I have no idea. But still, she looks great. Um, so yeah, I hope you like her. She's gonna be very sought after, so make sure if you see her on the shower, if you pick her up, people, you will not be disappointed. But my name's been Dan W. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Find the playlist as I'm reviewing all of these figures in the wave and also the Hulk Gladiator figure once I've finished reviewing the figures. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Bow.